Hey, good morning. Today I have Bauer 20 volt Hypermax Lithium Cordless Trimmer. They call it a string trimmer. Heavy duty guaranteed. I'm still not sure what the guarantee is. Bauer part number is 19115C-B. Typically they have the Harbor Freight number on it somewhere. It's 64995. It's an odd tool to do right now because it's 20 degrees. So I'm going to go outside and trim the grass as an example. But I've been wanting this. I saw it on sale for $39.95, so I decided to get it. So let's see what it's like. As you can see, Harbor Freight seals these with tape. Don't ever buy one that doesn't have the tape. Even if it has the tape, after you buy it, go out to your car, open it up, make sure it's not uh, been returned or something. Okay, ever-present manual. I'm hoping they give you the exploded view diagram. That's going to be useful over the years if you would have a problem with it. Parts list, although probably isn't very descriptive. Just the protection. Accessories. And the trimmer itself. Okay, so pretty standard. It weighs about five pounds. This is adjustable. Turn this, pull, oh, it's auto rebound, tighten that back up, obviously that isn't the angle I need, I actually have to wait till I get outside to see what angle I need on that, so I'll loosen that and spin it around, it's because in shipping they got it backwards. So what angle I need on that will have to be determined after I get out there using it. But you can see it's a lot longer now. So you can custom adjust the length if it helps your back to have it upper or lower. Uh, for max performance, use three amp hour battery or greater. I keep seeing the or greater, but I don't see an or greater battery. All I have handy is a 1.5. The heaviest part is still this end. This is your guard to keep a certain distance from something. It's supposed to move. Lock. It's a little flimsy, but let's see how it works out. This goes on. Once you get that on, you screw down through that hole. It's not real convenient. It doesn't look like a hole. It looks like a, huh, don't know. There we go. Now in the assembly pack, we have two spools. Now it cautions you that this is auto feeding, that you don't tap it against the ground. Okay, you give these wheels and they attach like this. So you can use it as an edger like this. Now that's actually a good attachment. I've not seen that on very many string trimmers, but I want to edge the edge of the driveway. This will work out really well. So that comes off, spool, and you push that in and feed the line here. And that would be the cutter to get it a certain length. This is to protect you. This is to keep a certain distance from an object so that this doesn't hit it. This is to do the edging. So it's a pretty complete setup. And they caution you that it's self-feeding, not to bang it against the ground. We'll have to see about that. And they give you two extra spools. Now this isn't so much for convenience of having pre-done spools, although that helps. I think it's more because they're gonna break. So first power. Got a safety button. Eighty one hundred RPMs. Actually kind of nice. So here's the edging. You would have to adjust this to be this to get it comfortable. A 
like they thought of a lot of stuff. Now, this keeps sliding back and forth for me because I'm not hooking it. If you pull, there's an indentation there that holds it in place. But if you hit it, it'll pop out. It's going to be a combination of adjusting this angle. Well, that's a nice option to have that might limit its life. You have to adjust this angle. Those two things together is going to make it comfortable. A lot of times when I'm out doing this, I'm a little taller, so I'm hunched over a little to get the right distance, and that's a bit of a pain in that it does make my back hurt over time. I'm hoping with this combination, that won't happen. This, in combination with the length, in combination with this angle, that's where you're going to get your ergonomics from. Nice options. So there's the unboxing and put together. Let me go outside and we'd eat in 20 degree weather. I got this and I'm really looking forward to using it this summer, especially the driveway edging feature. Our driveway doesn't have a delineation from the grass and the grass grows over the edge of the driveway. So I want to cut that into a small. I want to show both ends of that in the same shot. So I made it shorter. It's nice. Um, I don't think there's anything groundbreaking about it other than maybe this. The length of the cut is 12 inches, so a 12 inch diameter circle. So let's go outside and try it out. Hey, good morning. It's 32 degrees and the wind is just a howling, but I need to demonstrate this, so here we go. Got the wheel for the edging, business end, storage, loosen this, pull it up. Get the handle where you need it. So there we go. This is offset from where I had it adjusted. I probably feel more comfortable with it like that. And I noticed that this isn't really meant to do what I'm using it for. I'm using it to push back the grass and dirt that's come up on the driveway. But in reality, this is meant to delineate the grass not to go down and touch the earth. They kind of tilt it a little to get that to work, but it does work. So that's what this adjustment's for, not only for your back, but to make it an edger. So to me, speed's a little low, but it does work pretty good. It did strip that back pretty good. So now I need to convert it back. this too. So I'm liking it pretty good. So I'm gonna go clean it off and store it. It's uh, $40 which I thought was a damn good price. So I'm liking it and I recommend it. It has a lawnmower feature. Pretty versatile. That's the lawnmower feature is to keep it set distance from the ground. So highly recommend it. I think I'll like it this summer. I can't cut the grass with it now because the grass isn't tall enough to truly demonstrate that. <laughs> There's a thumb release that's supposed to help, but I'm thinking it don't. There. I'll keep it up here because I don't know that I'd use the lawnmower feature. So there we go. Nice tool. If you like the videos, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.